I started this year in an in a extremely dark, depressed state, in a place that was very uncomfortable, but a place that I wasn't really willing to look at myself. And one of the symptoms that I identified is that normally I'm a very social, sprightly person, and I didn't even want to speak to people. I didn't want to be seen. I didn't want to be communicated with. I just wanted to ostracise myself. I just wanted to stay stuck in my suffering. And, and I did everything I could possibly do to break myself out of it. I did gratitude journaling. I took myself down to the beach and went swimming in the ocean because that's my place of solace but nothing broke the numbness nothing broke the the depression the depressive state that I found myself in and then one afternoon I asked my husband Kirk I said you know you don't seem to be communicating with me too much you know is there anything going on in your life that you need to tell me and he goes I'm absolutely fine maybe it's you that's not okay and I just went oh yeah you've just put a mirror up in front of my face that I wasn't willing to look at and I was just really grateful that he actually broke that in me, you know, and, and having someone say, maybe it's you that's not okay, that was really confronting, but it was also the moment that it shifted. And it was the moment where I looked at myself for a second and went, actually, you're right, I'm not okay. And there's something I need to do differently because feeling this numb, feeling this state of depression is not normal and it's not a very good place to find myself in. Everyone must look at me and go, well, you've got nothing to complain about, you know, you've, you lived the high life, you've got eight world titles, you've married a rock star, you live in a beautiful home on the beach, but even though I do my best to reconcile those, the, some of the challenges I go through, there's just days when I don't feel good and there's days when I feel depressed, there's days when I go into deep dark places and, and I'm very fortunate that I have my husband Kirk or a couple of my best girlfriends who um, have, have, the, have the courage to ask whether I'm doing okay, but also um, just have that connection with me and have that understanding of, of knowing what to look for if I'm not okay. It was really valuable that first Kirk brought it to my attention, but then it continued to check in to make sure that I was still getting through it. It's not something you just wake up one day and went, okay, I'm depressed. Now you've told me that I need to address it. Okay, and tomorrow I'm fine. It takes time, it takes a series of processes and, and it's different, there's not one size fits all approach to this. So Kirk checked in with me for at least three or four days to make sure I was processing it. And I still had the same level of the same level of emotion and fear and sadness that was associated from the first conversation. So um, I was grateful that he continued to check in with me because if he didn't, then I'd kind of get away with it. You know, I'm, oh yeah, I'm sad and I'm depressed and I'm having a bad day, but I'm, you know, it'll be okay, I'll get through it. Okay, good, good for you, bye. But if he didn't keep checking in, then I may have gone back into a deep, dark place and, and I can stay there for as long as I feel necessary to be there. So uh, having the, the will to become the best in the world, I also have very strong will to keep myself isolated and ostracised and protected. I want to encourage everyone to take on the role of asking the question, are you okay? Don't wait till the middle of September to determine whether you need to reach out to anyone who you think is having a hard time. You're not an expert in helping people and fixing people, but you can be that vital support network to change someone's life just by asking the question, are you okay? And then listening to what the answer is. Encourage them to take action and then following up to make sure that they are doing whatever they can to get themselves on a better track. Every day is Are You Okay Day.